Welcome to the GWI study case, how to create a slice 2D images for volume 3D images. First of all, we are going to select the cluster where we are going to be running these processes to create the slices out of the volumes. In my particular case, I'm going to run it in my laptop, creating a virtualized cluster in it using GWI. The P2L statement that I'm going to be using to generate the 300 or so slicing processes is going to be this one. This is a P2L statement. It basically look into volume files there, which take the value of demos slash GW slash data and introspect for all the files that match this regular expression. Volumes file, volumes names, and this one. And this regular expression basically is saying that it should match any file that has extension NERD or NERD header. If we look into my file system, we will find that there are two files with those characteristics. One is foot NERD header and the other is brain NERD. Those two. Those are the volumes that I'm going to be slicing. The next two variables are ASICs, which takes the value of 0, 1, 2, and those are the different dimensions in which I'm going to be slicing the volumes and planes which are going to take the values between 75 and 175 space 2.5 which means that it's going to take the values of 75, 77.5, 80, 82.5 and so on. Finally the variable command is going to take the value generated by the macro slicing. This is a convenient macro that returns as a value a single um, command line which is uh, created to slice a particular volume given the parameters. The parameters it takes is the location of a slicer through installation from which the UNU utility is going to be resolved to do the slicing. In the particular case, in my particular case, here it is demos GUI slicer 3 and from there that macro is going to resolve this UNU command to do the slicing. The second parameter is going to be the file name of the volume that is going to be a slicing. In this case, it's going to be the matching files brain.nerd and foot.nerd header. The third parameter is the A6, which is going to be the values, which are, is going to take the values of 0, 1, and 2, and finally the plane to create multiple slices across every single axis for every volume. Finally that command is going to be the one that is going to be sent to execute in parallel on the cluster. Let's queue this command and see what happens. There we have it. 246 actually. Those are the, the volumes and we see that it's order number three. We can go back here and see how the volumes already start appearing. I can hear the fan of my laptop going on. It's taking a while to launch. All of this happening in the background of course. As you can see these volumes start appearing right away. Let's go to the order page and s to see the details. So here we have it. This is a result browser. Here we have the volume names, either foot or brain nerd, the different axes, still processing all the other axes, but in this particular one we can start seeing some of the results. These are all the image files that are being generated. If we look into the folder, those images are these ones. And as we speak, they start creating with different unique identifiers. The first one being the ACES values and the second one being the plain value. So if we go to the other ACES, we can start seeing for the initial planes.
for the food we can see that there are results as well and every time that you move any of those slides sliders you can see how any dependent variable changes its value accordingly 56 for job number for instance change the volume 15 here and so on still is running in the background and this is how you create volume 2d images out of uh, slice 2d images out of volume 3d images using GUI and cluster computing for more information visit the project site at www.gridwizardenterprise.org thank you for watching